Um, welcome to the unboxing or unpacking of this um, Chatelaine design. It's the Victorian garden, secret Victorian garden. And I just love this design. I've ordered the kit from European cross country, cross, no, European cross stitch company in the States. I think this is an older pattern and there were some, uh, a couple of threads, uh, according to the website that, uh, were discontinued. So I ordered some replacements. I just kind of took a little guess. Uh, I ordered it from the thread gatherer on Etsy. And it says on the website that you cannot get this color, which is the blue sage. Uh, but they did have it on Etsy. And I think sometimes they color uh, some extra batches of discontinued uh, colors. And I ordered a little bit extra just in case. And now I don't remember which color this was um, going to be replacing, but um, it it was also a thread gatherer thread, but it was a thicker thread. So I think the recommendation is that you stitch with two or three strands of like uh, the same color, but with a th uh, they they make the same colors, but with a thinner thread uh, but I didn't find that on Etsy in their store but I looked at the pictures and I think that these this thread kind of looked like the one that was missing and then I was thinking well I don't know what to compare to so I will go with this and I just ordered a lot just to make sure that I can stitch with two or three strands and that I am not going to run out of threads. So that's the extra stuff I ordered. And so this is how you get the kit. She always packs all the things very, very nice. And you can see here that it says Victorian Garden. I can tell right away that it's not as big as the Poison Garden. Oh yeah, there's going to be a lot of crinkling. So if you don't like that, get those earbuds out. Yes, um, I decided to go for a kit with fabric uh, because I'm very curious of how it stitch up, stitches up on white linen and they search the edges for you so that's really really nice. In this kit, I got some Nymo thread, I think it's called. Uh, it's for the beading. I usually use the invisible thread, so I might try this on a Mirabilia instead. And you get all the beautiful beads. It's Delica beads and some treasures. I think you want to take a closer look, so we'll do that. These are some nice crystals. Oh my god, look at those shining. Wow. Let's, I need to open some. And I don't have a lot of lighting in, in this room. It's like a 
holding diamonds in your hand. Oh, very beautiful. And she gives you just the right amount of um, beads. So you don't have a whole lot left over. Um, I actually ordered when I heard that the, the company who makes these crystals, the Swarovski crystals, were like going to stop producing them. So I ordered a beading kit for this the Victorian garden. If you you might have seen that on my floss tube earlier. So now I have twice as much beads. And I like to have a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of, uh, I, I don't like to run out of things. So some of the beads aren't that sh that shiny. They like have a frosted look, but they're also very beautiful. And you get a cross stitching needle and a beading needle. sorts the threads in these floss away bags. Some, uh, some of them she put multiple in the same, but that's fine because you have them on the cards. So, and these are petite treasure braids. Very nice to stitch with, I think anyways. And you have some northern light silks, I guess. That's a variegated thread. That's nice. And what's this? Is that stinky dye? And some more dinky dyes. That was a lot of dinky dyes in this piece, actually. So what do we have next? That's more dinky dyes. And then we have the Caron water lilies. Oh, wow. That was nice. Okay, and then we have some thread here, which I'm not too much fond of. Um, let's see. Silken pearl. Yeah, the pearl threads. But hey. You just have to make it work. Another silk and pearl. Oh, they were soft and nice. 
that's uh, what is just amazing with the shadow lanes is all the smorgasbord of threads and beads you get to try it all and specialty stitches and yeah so nice where am I say So we have some silk gatherer, thread gatherer, this is not thread gatherer, yeah it is, I hope I haven't shown you these already. I don't know if I've gone all the way around. Oh, that's Gloriana. Yeah, I love Gloriana threads. And then we have some needlepoint silk threads here as well. Wow. And the petite treasure braid. So that's nice. She really knows how to pack up the things. So yeah. That's what you get in one of her kits. Um, so this is the Victorian garden. I hope you like the unpacking. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. So grab your needles, get back to stitching and enjoy your day. Thank you for watching. Bye.